Now we're down 240 points on the Dow Industrials. That is almost a 1% drop. The reason here is almost certainly the trade fight with China. We have imposed tariffs on $50 billion worth of Chinese goods coming here. They immediately retaliated with tariffs of their own on our stuff going there. And now we're down almost exactly 1%. David Barnson is with us, uh, market watcher, big-time investor. David, welcome to the program. Good now, to be with you. In the past, when you have a trade headline, stocks go down and then usually, almost always, bounce back up again, either by the end of the day or on the second day. Are we going to see that happen again today? Uh, no, I don't think we're going to see it today, but I do think that over the coming days, you'll get once again, as you mentioned, some sort of recalibration of the real events going on. The reason for that, and we've talked about it on your show before, Stuart, is that the market ends up sort of determining that President Trump is trying some form of negotiating and bluffing and flexing and things like that. In this particular case, though, this is an actual imposition, as before there was sort of statement of intention, and then China immediately retaliated, as everyone should have known they were going to do. Um, it's very unfortunate to me. It's really taking away so much of the wonderfully positive things that the administration has done in the economy. Do you think that if this trade fight does develop into something more serious, that it could interfere with our near 4% growth? Uh, there's no question that it could. I'm not so certain that it will because I really want to believe that he'll end up peeling back and seeing that these tariffs are counterproductive, that the people that he is trying to help are the ones most hurt by the tariffs, but ultimately, if indeed we were to go forward with all this, there's no question it's contractionary mm. in the economy, and I think it could jeopardize that 4% print. Well, we are now down exactly 1% on the Dow, back to two, uh, down 1%, down 252 points. Now, David, I read your stuff, and I read that you like Procter & Gamble on the screen right now. It's actually up about 40-odd cents, 0.6%. Now, it's one of the biggest, it is the biggest gainer on the Dow, actually. Yeah. You like this stock, even though we have a report saying that diaper sales are weighed down because Americans are having fewer babies. I take it that the diaper deal doesn't get in the way of your recommending Procter & Gamble. No, I'm quite certain that if there's any product that has a foreseeable and sustainable future in the world economy, it's diapers. Uh, the fact of the matter is that Procter Gamble is down about 15 percent on the year, um, that they are right now in the early stages of what will likely be a very big reorganization. Uh, the big activist investor, Nelson Peltz, is on the board suggesting bringing 10 units down to three units, eliminating a lot of cost, a lot of bureaucracy. 61 years in a row of increasing their dividend. This is the type of name we love. We've owned it for years, but we've added to our position on distress, and we're very confident in, in what their future will look like. Uh, last one. You, you always told us for weeks and weeks and weeks now that you like the pipeline companies. Yeah. You're still with them? You're still buying them? Uh, heavily, and this is a multi-year story. This is something that we think is in very early innings, that what you have is essentially more and more oil and gas being produced in the U.S. and the need to transport it. We have a completely inadequate amount of pipelines, so they're having to put it on trucks and rail, which are far more expensive and also, you know, more environmentally concerning. So we love the whole secular story. President Trump very friendly, his administration very friendly to being able to export, especially uh, natural gas. And so therefore, the pipeline story becomes a longer term secular story. And while we wait, you're getting dividend yields in between six and eight percent. Um, you don't trade, do you? You're not the kind of guy who comes on this program and says you buy it today and you sell it next week to make five cents profit. You're in it for the long run, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. So we are tactical. If our story changes, we have to make a change. But we're not okay. traders. We're real investors. Okay. The type of people you should have on your show all the time. <laughs> well, you're on the show all the time. Come that's on. right. That, that's that's, that's exactly right. That's why I love being on your show. You get it. We see this stuff the same, Stuart. Ah, OK. Uh, that works for me. Thanks very much indeed, David. We'll see you again real soon. Promise. See Thanks very soon. much.